Welcome to Kodi Testnet. The Testnet is the beta version of the Kodi Trust Chain Consensus Protocol and Infrastructure. Key innovations include the Trust Score Update Algorithm, or TSUA, Arbitration Service, One-Click Payment Requests, DSP Consensus, Node Managers, and more. In this tutorial, I will guide you through Kodi's Trust Chain Testnet step-by-step -step and demonstrate how to send and receive payments in the Kodi ecosystem in exchange for real merchandise and services offered on existing e-commerce sites. To log in, you will first need to open a Kodi Payment System or CPS account if you haven't yet. This is the gateway to the Kodi network. Bear in mind that prior to opening a CPS account, you will be required to complete a verification process. Once your account is set up, log in and connect to the Testnet wallet. When logged in for the first time, you will need to generate a new seed by clicking on Generate New Seed. Users who already generated a seed in Cody's AlphaNet will still need to create a new seed for the testnet wallet. In order to generate a seed, you will be asked to provide a private key. It's extremely important to securely store your private key in order to restore your seed if you ever forget it. Please take the time to do this. After clicking on the Generate Seed button, a new seed will be generated. Copy the seed and click on Go to Wallet to return to the login screen. Make sure to store your seed safely and securely. Once you're back to the login screen, paste the generated seed into the Your Seed field and select a full node to connect to from the Choose Node to Connect to drop down menu. Make sure the testnet option in the wallet is selected and click on the Connect button. You can only generate one new seed once per account. The system will allow you to generate a second seed, but you won't be able to connect to your wallet with it. In case you forget your seed, you can click on the Forgot Your Seed link below the Connect button and restore it using your private key. This is why it's crucial to not lose your private key, as it's the only way to restore your seed. When you log into your wallet for the first time, the system will calculate your initial trust score. This is your wallet overview screen. Here you will see your balance, trust score, wallet address, and recent transactions. When logging in for the first time, the wallet's total balance will be zero. To deposit money, you will first need to generate a new address link. Click on the Generate New Address button, and then copy the address in your address list. Next, send an email to support at cody.io and request demo funds to be sent to the address you generated. The balance column in the address list displays the current balance you have for the corresponding address. The prebalance is your future balance at the corresponding address after incoming and outgoing transactions are confirmed. The total balance of the wallet is the sum of all balances in your address list. Once you have some demo funds in your account, click Send and provide the destination address, amount to transfer, and description. Before clicking Send Transaction and moving forward, Click on Get Fees to calculate the fees you will be charged for. Once you have double-checked the details of the transaction and calculated fees, you can proceed with your transaction. Click the Send Transaction button. The transaction will now be shown in the Recent Transaction section. Initial transactions will typically display the status Attached to DAG. Once the transaction is confirmed by the network, the status changes to Confirmed. The duration depends on the volume of network activity at the time. As we know in DAGs, the larger the network, the faster it is. If you want to see additional transaction details, click on the arrow on the right of the transaction row to expand it. You can also purchase real merchandise and services offered on existing e-commerce sites. I will demonstrate the process from the Kodi demo shop using our demo coins. You can access the site by going to crypto-shop.kodi. .io. Don't forget in this specific store you are not actually purchasing these products. Once you browse through the store and found an item of your liking, add the item to your cart, click on your cart, and then continue to the checkout screen. Next, log in and enter the required information. Once you are certain about your purchase, click Pay with Cody. And proceed to the confirmation page. Provide your seed to complete the payment and click Pay Now. Once complete, the successful payment pop up window will be displayed. You will be redirected to the purchase confirmation screen to view the details of your purchase. 
you will now be able to see your payment transaction in the wallet transaction list. Cody has developed a unique arbitration service that provides both buyer and seller protection. This is a major development in the cryptocurrency sphere, which currently does not safeguard users against errors, fraud, and counterparty abuse. Additional information on this unique service can be found at Cody.io. Under the Activity tab, you will see a summary of all transactions and disputes you have opened to date. To open a dispute, click on the Open Dispute link in the Transaction Details. Disputes can be opened only for transactions classified as payment and only once they display a confirmed status. The next step is to select which item you are disputing. Once you choose the item, you will see a pop-up window, which will ask you to provide dispute details for this specific item, including the dispute reason, evidence, and comments. You can edit the item dispute details before submitting the dispute. When you're ready, click Submit. You will automatically be redirected to the Dispute Details screen. For each disputed item, you will be able to leave a message for the merchant, view replies, upload additional files, browse files the merchant has uploaded, and cancel the dispute. If you and the merchant are unable to resolve a dispute, the merchant can reject some or all of the disputed items at which point the dispute will be escalated to the arbitration phase. From this point, a decentralized and distributed group of independent jurors will be activated to resolve the dispute. For any questions, we are available to help 24-7 via email at support at cody.io and telegram. We also recommend checking the help tab for Q&As. Thank you and have a great day.